What's our mini fans? In this video, we're building a industrial water tower. I'm just using mainly chipboard, bit of card, and some mesh, and other bits and bobs. Alrighty, as always, if you like anything in this video, feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with my videos. Anyway, let's get on to building. The base of the storage tank, or whatever you want to call it at the top, is an old food container, just a circular one, top and bottom, and I've cut the rim off the bottom, the black section, and then what I've done is got the diameter of the sort of inner part of the top, and put that onto chipboard, cut out that circle, and then I have got a bigger circle of chipboard, which is about three, three and a half centimeters bigger than the, the, the diameter of the top, the lid of that food container. And then I've drawn the inner circle onto the top and bottom of the bigger circle, just so I know where the center is for later. And then what I do is glue some mesh onto the big circle with PVA glue, and then glue that top circle on in the center. What I do then is I've got a strip of just normal cardboard, which is five centimeters high, and I've wrapped that round, stuck it in the lid, and then also some circles of cardboard just to, to strengthen that see-through lid. Now to cover up that cardboard, I've cut a big long, or well actually a couple of strips of card and it's five centimeters high and this just gets glued on around that cardboard all the way around and sort of st stuffed into the lid. I now glue this bit we've just made onto the big circle using the smaller circle as a point for it to glue onto. So I just go around with PVA glue, whack it on, and then put some weight on top until it dries. I wanna add some trim around the edge of that big circular walkway because for one thing, the mesh is actually quite sharp. So I've cut some strips of card, three millimeters wide, and then I just glue this round with super glue. Now for some details on that main section, the bit covered with card. I've cut two sections of card, which are 12 centimeters long, 4.3 centimeters high, and I've dotted along the sides as to where I want rivets to go. Then the second piece of card, I've cut a bit of a bit of a chunk out of it, just for some extra details. And again, dots for rivets, and then. So this is two quarters of that tank. The other two quarters I've just done, same dimensions, but in corrugated paper. And then I go ahead and glue some rivets on to those two pieces of card. So these are just the fingernail beads, damp finger, get the rivet close, using a cocktail stick, dab a bit of glue on, and then maneuver it into place, let it dry. So 
time to glue all those pieces on I just start off gluing on a section of the corrugated paper and I just use PVA glue again and then the next section I just do it a couple of mil off and because I'm using PVA once I've got it all on there I can you know wiggle them around a bit just in case they're not even On the lid of that container, the see-through bit, there's actually some raised writing and like recycling symbol and stuff like that. And I couldn't really sand it off because I was scared of going through because it's quite thin. So instead, what I've done is I've got the diameter of that of, of the top of the lid and drawn out a circle, drawn out an um, inner circle. So I've cut that out and it's about one and a half centimeters wide, like a ring. And I've cut that into sections and I use these sections to cover over all the different symbols and it looks quite cool on top. Next up some details on the very top. I want various bits to make it look cool. Um, so I've taken apart a, a dish soap dispenser, the, the very top bit, and I've got a few cool looking pieces. So I just super glue these on top. To add a bit more texture on top, I do the old super glue trick. So I've just done a few bits of super glue and then uh, baking soda just tapped into it and it dries all hard and sort of crusty, kind of looks like rust or some kind of deposit. For the bottom section of the storage tank, the the actual food container is quite flimsy so I just pretty much pack it with cardboard and then um, just PVA glue this all in and then I stick this onto the bottom of what we've already made. For a final bit of detail on the very top of the tank I want to make a hatch so I've just used, for this I used 2 mil chipboard and I've cut out a hat shape. And then I cut out a small circle of cardstock, glue that on, and then I mark on with a pen some dots around the edge and glue rivets on. And then I make a tiny little handle just out of wire, just 1 mil wire, which I've bent into shape with some pliers. And then I poke some holes in that card, pop it in and then I just glue this on top with some PVA and then using a bit of barbecue skewer I put that as uh, like the join on the hatch and then just some little chunks of chipboard either side. On to the framework holding up this tank I'm just making some I-beams or H-beams out of chipboard so I've cut lengths which are 20 centimeters long one centimeter wide and these are the four main supports so I've done um, 12 strips of chipboard and then I glue them together initially I just get it all lined up do dots of super glue at the the ends and the center to make sure it's all straight and then I go in with PVA glue down those joins and repeat this for all four supports I've also done a number of smaller little I-beams using the 2 mil chipboard. These are 12 centimeters long and then I glue these all together. So I've measured down 5 centimeters and up 5 centimeters on each of the four main supports and then I glue those smaller beams in between.
next I've made some smaller angled T-beams, I guess you'd call them. Um, so these are just two pieces of chipboard glued into like a T. And then I've cut the edges at 45 degree angles. And these are five centimeter long. And I glue these under the upper like um, horizontal beams. So all the way around, two on each. At the front of this framework, I want a little platform. So I've cut a bit of chipboard, same width, and then four centimeters deep. And then I've cut some trim, which is five mil card, cut at 45 degree angles. So this goes around the edges and I glue that on with PVA. And then this gets joined on to the framework and I use another couple of those angled T-beams to support it. Most of this glued on with super glue. Off camera, I've made some ladders, which I'll link into the description if you want to know how. But I've made a mistake. On the circular walkway at the top, I need to cut a notch so that the ladder fits flush. So I just cut off a bit with wire cutters, add some more three mil trim. Um, yeah, jobs are good and with that. And then I've made a pipe to go down from the tank to the floor. I've just used those kids toy pipes, sanded, glued together. And then I've added some supports at the bottom, the, the, the lower girders, because I was scared of the pipes just being joined in one place. So I've made these little chipboard supports, glue them in, and then jobs are good. Off camera, I've mod podged the entire thing, then spray painted black and base coated with burnt umber. But the center of the tank, I've base coated white and then masked off, and the same with the center of the platform, because we'll do those a lighter color. But anyway, that's where we are. And next, I dry brush the entire thing with silver. I took off all the masking, but unfortunately some paint had leaked through, so I had to touch up some of the center of the tank. But anyway, I've done that off camera, and now I paint that, that white bit with yellow. For the platform on the front of the framework, I do this a lightish gray just mixed up black and white um, acrylics and then I kind of do a bit of a wet blend and add a bit more lighter grey in the center. Next up, washing time. I've actually glued everything together now and then I just grab my homemade black wash which again is black acrylic paint, bit of water, bit of dish soap. So I just slap this on all over, but the yellow and the grey bits, I dab off some in the centre with some tissue paper. At this point, I realised I'd missed doing something I wanted to do. So... What I've done is printed out B7 in a stencil font. I've covered that paper with clear tape, cut it out with a sharp knife. So this is now going to be my stencil. So I masking tape this onto the side of the yellow tank and then take some sponge, bit of white paint, dab it on. And looks good, but very clean. on to rust effects. I'm just sponging on burnt umber acrylic paint, 
in various locations and then following that up sponging on orange over the top doing this all over the whole thing final stage bit of staining I'm using brown and black inks and I'll just do various drips and grime in in different locations especially over that B7 some I wipe around with my thumb as well and that's the project done here's some glamour shots of the finished piece hope you like the video feel free to leave any comments and I'll get back to you Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Cheers for now.